Anyways, we are in time already, so we should be starting quite soon with Konohoshi there. First warm up. I'm not sure who selected this one, but I will say uh, Poland, but not too sure at all. Okay, yeah, this is Poland's warm up. So, Kano Hoshide will be then. Matsumoto Rai seems to be missing for China, so that's not a good thing for them. Uh, even though he is on the first lot, which is strange. Absolutely interesting. Time out much? We're almost ready to start with the first warm up there for this matchup China versus Poland. One of the matches that most people will have expected to see on the finals instead of the quarterfinals. But Destiny decided something else, and right now. We will see China and Poland facing each other on the quarters. All right, let's begin. Background is uh, something. Pretty creepy in a way, but also not creepy in another. And the map itself is quite nice. It looks pretty decent, yeah. I mean, I cannot wait to see when it turns out into an absolute nightmare, but coming from Poland. <laughs> first break of the match though will be for Poland. My Angel Witch Q will be the one. Dropping the comb over there twice actually, followed by Rock and GGBY. Oh, these <laughs> these sliders, I like. They would have been quite difficult to hit to begin with, but now with Kobe two. Yeah, with Scorby 2, they are definitely more challenging, although I don't think they are too much harder. I believe they are definitely something that you should be cautious with. I'm actually wondering where is uh, Rust Bell at this moment. Not sure if he is online or not, but if he's not, that's going to be a big hit for China. Even though they have uh, Totoki, Spring Lane, GGBY and Mats Motorized playing, at least for this warm-ups. Which is already a uh, strong enough roster in my opinion. A song that is uh, actually in his own way, in his own way, it's actually interesting. I will probably try to map this for Mania at, at one point. We shall see. And if you look at Totoki and Spring Lane, which are, well, uh, on the They are rocking. <laughs> yes, rocking, yes, indeed. And Witch Q as well. And there goes a drop from Spring Lane and Witch Q, only Totoki now holding the full combo. And the difference is pretty much nothing, and Poland takes it back because of the miss from Matsumoto, and now Totoki breaking as well. As well, we will Wolf Wolf. But my angel witch queue is just keeping that up in order for Poland to keep the lead in the favor. 
The break though in that stream was actually pretty huge, not going to make that big of a difference since the combat advantage is still on Poland's hands, and the map is pretty much over already. Though the score difference is pretty low, there's literally no combos from anyone here by a, but by a rock. So, this is looking to be the first one up in favor of Poland. That's going to be it. First warm up goes for Poland, which Q with just a slider break. Really great performance by him, though he barely got the best score here. Totoki out comboed him, but in terms of accuracy, which Q definitely made an important difference over there. So let's see what China has prepared as a warm up. Oh man, that map killed my computer! Hopefully it won't anymore. And there we go, finally I get to to see the map and it I have to say it looks definitely challenging. Interesting selection. It just goes super super fast. It actually shocks me that they are keeping the accuracy so high on this one by some of the players like Rock. But right here seems like China is taking the advantage, although they have a little bit of a combo disadvantage, so they might just lose that lead in a matter of time. Though the misses from my Angel, Witch Q, and Woof Woof Wolf are definitely going to hurt Poland. I mean, Artsy and Rock are pretty much equalizing each other in terms of combo, but with this difference, I believe Poland might just take it back in a matter of time. But that will only happen if someone like GGBY or Totoki ends up breaking. Which is not looking to be the case. My Angel Wichigu though in this dead stream section completely giving up. And just at the end Artsy is finding another miss. So Rock left as the only one still standing with 900 calm already in the bag. Should be able to maintain himself and Poland into the victory here for this warm up. Wichigu is also well doing quite well although he just slightly broke. Accuracy a little bit behind of everyone else, but I mean not actually behind anyone else, he's just behind compared to China. Wolf is not holding a really strong accuracy either. And I believe my Angel Witch Q is not really doing that well either. Even 
despite the really good combo that Rock had, now he breaks. And with that being said, it looks like China will just take this one, despite Rock's good performance overall so far. It won't be close to enough to take the point, as May Angel Wichiku has, and Woo Wolf actually, both have super low accuracy and super low combo, and Woo Wolf is actually playing it later in purpose, I'm not too sure if he was doing that, but his hit bar was so focused on the late side, yet he managed to combo through it. Seems like it's too fast for the old wolf. Or maybe he's just not warm up enough. Because we are not seeing both Rathis or Rustbell on this two warm ups, so seems like both teams are mostly just trying to re release some pressure, relax a little bit. In general, this matchup will be mostly decided as soon as they start. Right now, warm-ups doesn't really mean anything, as this map is absolutely harder than any of the maps available in the pool. It's Even though it's a good indicator to see which players are actually motivated right now or in a good spree, as you see, RC and Springling are doing quite good in terms of combo holding, and GGBY is holding amazing accuracy by himself. Rog is also in a really good spree, but despite that, you cannot really take too much of this into account, as the map pool is definitely easier than this. I mean. I wonder how the players will feel after this one, because it's a pretty long pick and really streamy and super fast, so maybe stamina drains might be an issue here if someone just overperforms on this. As the death streams come, Brock managed to break through with 100% accuracy in through them. Really nice performance by him, but Arctic is completely negating everything right there with a thousand combo. With that being said, even though Rock manages to get the best score, the warm up will go for China. And there you have two C ranks, Wu Wolf with exactly 80% accuracy. It was pretty much Rock by himself trying to beat China here. Everyone else was just so behind compared to China's top scores. Wilchq was not that far away though with 800 combo. But with that being said, we are ready for the rolls, bans, and picks of this matchup. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Just finish it with the warm up, and it's time for the rolls. Poland will get a 54, 46% chance for China to beat it, and it's a 4. Congratulations, China! You get the first ban. <laughs> As for China, I'm not sure what they will ban. Don't remember how well they managed with Hidden, but wouldn't surprise me if they go for Raging as a ban from them. For Poland, though, I'm actually not too sure what they will ban. I wouldn't say Scarlet Rose, but maybe something oh. like Chinese Restaurant. Okay. So a normal pick will be banned there. Poland will go for Connect as a ban, so Living Raging and Deus Ex Machina are both free to be selected. Oh my. So Poland going for the consistent double time pick as a ban, and China is going for the normal. So, we shall see what's the first pick from Poland. If they go for Hidden of Horror, it wouldn't surprise me that much. CS5 being the ban here by China though, so... Kinda makes sense a little bit if they are not really used to it. I mean, I would ban instead Chinese restaurant in that... Uh, particular aspect, but as Poland probably does well on it, and then Illumi escapes, so maybe it's just like a strategic ban trying to counter Poland's strengths instead of uh, Chinese's weaknesses. 
But anyways, leaving that aside, Poland is now taking their own time to decide which will be the first map and it's going to be Joru Nakusagi, so hidden to open the match. But anyways, this will be the first map then, with the two bands already decided. Yorunaku Sagi Wajume Wamiru will be the pick here from Poland. So trying to get the first point on the hidden bracket. See if China can keep it up. Or they will be the first point for Poland in the round. Mm. I think we already talked about this, right? Which ma which team yeah, we think much. That, that will win here, right? Oh, you mean Poland? I mean, I meant China, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, not sure if Slime is still following the Twitter, but we feel free to use the hashtag OWC2016 and support the team you want. Feel free to do it as well on the chat as the, the, these two teams definitely need your support here. One of the most important matches that we will have for this weekend here, China and Poland, being second and third place of last year's OWC, so a tight end matchup here. Well, the fact is, the last tweet for OWC 2016 is uh, from Nate, so uh, showing his uh, incredulity as G uh, for Germany going uh, before South Korea. But if you are, well, you are free to uh, pretty much tweet on that hashtag. And well, you know, we have 7,000 people, something like that, uh, today. So we might as well. Uh, make it a trending topic, perhaps. Well, not quite 7,000, but we aren't that far away. 5.5 is still a big number. We previously had 7.2k. Oh, we. I'm hoping we can get back up to that. When did we? Uh, Last uh, weekend, right? Weekend? Yeah. I don't it remember wasn't, what match though. Wasn't there sadly, but I can imagine. I mean, this time is still a little bit too early for a lot of people to watch, I believe. Especially from the Americas. Yeah, I think a lot of the Americans will be waking up, so I'd give it a little bit longer before we really hit that peak. Let's see if we can surprise the finals of last year at some point here. That would be great. And there we go. Time to start with Joru Nakusagi Wayume Wamiru. I already know the name. <laughs> But let's see, let's see how both teams perform on this one. I will argue that Poland is a little bit stronger when it comes to hidden. And since China and Poland are not, are still not showing Rafis or Rust Bell, so I'm still unsure if they are actually here today or not. Oh. I'm not sure if Rust Bell used to play hidden a lot. I think he used to, so. Maybe he's just not here. Anyways, we shall see later. As we get into the intro of the map, Poland will take a slight lead of advantage. Oh, Rock means reading that double, hitting only once. But it's only at the beginning, so... 
Yeah, still not that big of a, of a deal. I mean, you can see the Pollen is still on the lead. Rock is only 80 combo behind everyone else. It will be a matter of time for China to recover, but just by accuracy, Pollen should be able to take it back if it happens to turn down into uh, an accuracy battle. Yes, especially since Matsumoto Rice is having uh, a low, uh, pretty low 95 now, even now he broke. Yeah, that break is definitely uh, an important one for Poland. They will take back that advantage right now. Another miss over there from Disa, not going to help at all the, the Chinese team. Poland will still make a bigger difference just by that. But yeah, as I mentioned, yep. yeah, there's a drop from Rock. But still, you have three full combos for Poland and only two for China, so if there is no break for either My Angel, Wilsk or Wu Fu Fall, well, that's it. Well, three full combos against two is still not that big of a difference. As you can see, only 100,000 points of difference here. And as the streams will come here, we see a drop from Totori over there, so China once again falling behind, only one full combo remaining. And seems like Poland will just take this without too many issues. They just keep comboing through this if they manage to keep it a little bit longer. Just by Will use accuracy and combo will probably be enough. The Spy Crystal's really good performance on this one won't be enough to defeat Poland by himself. He needs some breaks from the Polish side and they're just not happening. It doesn't seem to be happening. Yeah, it seems China like it's pretty have... much over already. Yeah, China will have a hard time to, 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 to beat that. I mean, accuracies are so high between every single member. That's something notable, though. I think the lowest accuracy is by Matsumoto Rise, and it's around like 90, 98, I think. But despite that, everyone is just holding 99s and high 99s in some portions as well, which Q and Dsan, for example. But despite the great performance by Crystal for comboing the map, Poland is just outclassing China over this pick. Which Q, Wolf of Wolf, and May Angel, which Q are just still full comboing. And what can you do against three full combos if you don't have three full combos? Well, China did his best to catch up though, I'm not going to lie, yeah. but it wasn't quite enough. Matsumoto Rice failing at the last stream actually. Yeah. Really well. big hit by China over there. Oh, maybe he actually didn't fail? Oh, did he? I'm not sure. Uh, it we should check that on the Apple link. Yeah. But anyhow, Poland definitely has won, it has won big time. Yeah, definitely. Poland takes this one by quite a big difference, with or without a fail. The scores from WitchQ, Wolf of Wolf and my Angel WitchQ are just insane. As you see, only 5 to 100, uh, 100 actually, from WitchQ. Crystal not doing any worse than that though, only 8 100s and still full comboing. But sadly for China, that was not enough for them. Uh, apparently, oh, that's true. Uh... Totori is actually <laughs> Russell. He changed his name. Oh, I forgot. God damn it. Yeah, that's true. Because most of the Chinese persons changed their nickname before this match. That's true. Wow. Ah, my apologies, though. Wow. I completely <laughs> missed that one. That was well. That I guess that happens when you you have a busy weekend and I'm um, busy weekend. You cannot really check everything. Yeah, definitely, yeah, I think my bad. Rust Bell and Turkey. I think it was just the two of them. Turkey Cheese. Yeah. Sorry. I was like, wait, Totori, Mike, Totoki, and Totori, Tokichi. Oh my goodness. Yes. I remember everything now. This was mentioned on the week. Why would you do that, China, though? 
Yeah, you because he uh, happens as Tartarine for Tartarkey. Alright, now we get we go away chosen by well, China. I, I think I think that China is telling me something. <laughs> After that big mistake. Yeah, I believe China is just trying to tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go away and begin with the next <laughs> lecture by China here. The normal from Pijifat. I was saw previously accuracy on this map is quite challenging as the sliders are made in such a way that they are super hard to keep holding until the end. Unless you are an alternating player, I believe they are they should be easier that way. But Leaving that aside, it's time to go away. See what China has here to bring us. They can actually take down Poland in their own picks at least. Spatch there is going to join here, replacing my Angel Witch Q, but having a little bit of struggle in the beginning, so not doing well by that time. Now Wolf of Wolf actually missing again there. So we have a couple of breaks already from the Poland side. China though still managing to hold quite strong. And GGBY is holding 85% accuracy full combo. That is something quite interesting. Not sure I saw something like that before. Crystal as well is holding a really low accuracy, which is pretty much the main reason why Poland still holds a good chance here to come back as they have overall better accuracy despite the combo disadvantage. They are pretty much fighting against a 4 full combo team and they are so close to take it back. 50,000 points at the moment. Ooh, huge break over there by Spash the, on the really awkward stream that you have over there in a circle shape. Maybe like an hexagon, I'm not sure. How would you like to call that? Pain. Yeah, probably painful shape. <laughs> it's probably a lot better than my previous assumption. But anyways, China is still rocking this, and as I mentioned, this um, finds a break over there. Really bad for China, but not as big as you might think. Still three full combos in the favor, and Totori just managed to pull out 99.5% accuracy, and now I see why they were pointing out about him being the actual <laughs> Rust Bell. Yeah. But Poland is definitely getting closer. The miss from Rock, though, as soon as I mentioned, Ooh. is going to hurt quite a bit the chances for Poland to catch up here. And even though GGB Wise finds another miss, he was holding the lowest accuracy, so it won't hurt as much as a miss from Crystal on Totori. But it will still be significant if Poland can keep their combos up, as they have almost a combo advantage. I believe they have a combo advantage, but the map is pretty close to an end. Yep. So they won't be able to translate that into a difference in the oh, favor, yeah. I believe. Yeah, but if there's a, a miss from Crystal or Totori, that could change. Although, you know, slowly but surely we're creeping to the end of the map, and, well, when there is not enough map left, there is not. 
yeah, that's looking to be a victory for China. No fails yes, on the last stream. And it will be 1-1. One, one. And China taking in zone peak makes it 1-0. Oh, Knight of Knights! Okay. Ooh. Bringing up the three mod guns here, Poland. We'll go right. with how, probably how many one of. I mean, this is probably one of the most awkward picks that you have available. And I wonder the mods actually. I've, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Wolf 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 with a no mod actually. If we don't see him with no mod, we'll see. You know, Hard Rock maybe. But I would say they would probably want Wolf with the normal score guaranteed full combo as he's most mm. uh he's probably more used to play this kind of maps yeah. more than anyone else probably. Which Q though has a pretty pretty cool score on this one as well with hidden so we might see him with hidden on it. For the Chinese side though I'm not too sure what to expect. Uh Rustwell has a score with hidden as well that is pretty pretty good so the 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 mods here seems to be pretty standard ggby with hard rock is going to be replaced though despite his good score on it Let's see if he actually ends up joining nope it will be spring lane so spring lane with hard rock seems to be like a fine idea and probably Totori with Hidden. For Poland, Wilch Q will probably go with Hidden. Maybe Rock goes with another mod as well. well if Rock sense, doesn't go, I will probably, probably see why Wolf Wolf playing this with mods. Mm, maybe. I, I would say it would be more safe for them to go uh, with a no mod in Wolf. But it can very well be a, a mod pick from him. The most consistent players uh, should, yes, perhaps keep it consistent. In, you know, uh, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens in, in a few seconds. Yep. So I'm my own rock right here, rank 31 and 32 on this. Both of hard rock. And there you have it, Wolf 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 with no mod as I mentioned. Nice. Which Q will go with the hidden as well, and instead of rock will be my angel which Q with the hard rock as I previously thought it would be. Mm. And Spring so... Link with hard rock and Raspel with hidden hard rock, so mod of yeah. China. But only one, which is like 6%. I mean, it is one hard rock, so I believe it's 10%. Oh, my bad. Divided by four, though, because it's only one player. Yep. But still, it's, it's a difference that is notable in case that everyone just full combos here. Which is looking to be the case so far here. No <laughs> one is dropping. This is mostly a steady sound. You have to be so focused and just be one with the rhythm because following uh, aiming it is actually fairly complicated but the harder thing will be mostly just be used to the rhythm it's super slow aim and it's pretty hard if you're not steady but anyways seems like rock and spring lane both finding breaks over there the lead will go down to fallen hands as spring lane holds an 89% accuracy Vsan though is holding 100% over there, really notable performance by him. Even though it's a normal play, it's still a pretty impressive. Yes, and unfortunately Spring Lane with, uh, with his hard work uh, at 89% is not helping China at all. Yep, not at all actually. Even though he's not holding the full combo, just compare the score with Brock, which is holding a normal, pretty much same combo this, uh, I mean, this vanish, yeah. And Spring League is 70,000 points behind Rock. The fact that China needs to pick two persons with Moss might be something that teams need to 
be, give a look at because you can just see that spring leg is not being accurate. Even though the difference from Poland is not too big at the moment, the accuracy from Rustbell is definitely making a difference. And Angel Wilchq finding a drop with a hard rock, that's going to hurt Poland a lot. And if Springley keeps up the combo, even though he might not have the best accuracy, China will be able to take it back. As you can see, they are climbing back, claiming yep. that lead once again. And we see some flickering any time now. Oh, and there is China Tech's back lead. There is the lead indeed, but the miss from Wilchq will pretty much seal the deal in their favor. That was a big drop by Poland. No more mods, full combos remaining. And Roswell is just not. Oh no, he breaks as soon as I mention again. He was doing oh. the full combo with Hidden Horrocks. Such a shame that he didn't got it. But still, Matsumoto Rice is still holding the full combo. Wolf of Wolf as well, as this can go to anywhere, actually. The map is pretty close to being over, but the Spring Lake just misreads a little section. The HP drain of the Hard Rock will be enough to kill him. Hopefully it won't happen for China. Wilski with another drop, Rock and Decent as well, but it won't be enough. Spring Lake with a bit of a struggle at the end. And that seems to be a point for China already. Well, you know, you, you never know Spring Lane, especially with the hard work, could fail, but I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, the map was pretty so, close to be over. Yep. And even though the full combo by Woof Woof Wolf, best accuracy actually as well, won't be enough for Poland to take it into their own. Since the misses from May Angel, Witch Q and Witch Q respectively with the mods, Rock also did a really good job on it, but wasn't quite good enough to defeat the Chinese overall better performance. And that's the first breakpoint of the match actually as well. So China will now pick to the second point of difference in the favor. Oh. Really good situation. It will be boot. <laughs> Trying to boot Poland out of the way. Yes. Uh... I will say this. Uh, this is an interesting pick because I feel that China doesn't really have many good picks against uh, Poland in general. So that breakpoint was actually crucial as they have limited options in their arsenal, as much as they can break, they have to take it. And I will say that they will probably save sense for the last pick, probably trying to seal the deal. And boot will likely be the transition they need in order to try and get as close as the match point to pick the double time selection. But we shall see. Boot being the selection here, I believe Poland has a good chance to break point here. But we shall see. Spring Lane seems to be mentioning something to GGBY. Maybe they are asking for a player swap. A Spring Lane is mostly a hard rock player, if I remember correctly. Oh. And people are calling for Rafis. That's a definite. Well, I will definitely call for Rafis if I were Polish. <laughs> Seems like we're ready to go then. Won't be any player swap there. Spring Lake stays for boot. All right. There we go with boot. 
comes to star. Already a miss from Spring Lake, so not a great start for China. No. Actually, the misses are actually really, really weird. As you see, it's like he's aiming the circles, but he's forgetting to click them. He had a miss from Rock as well. Otherwise, uh, the, the rest of the teams are full conveying for now. Yep, only 100% remaining by Rustbell here, Totori. Accuracy from Springling is surprisingly low. I mean, was kind of expected that he's pretty uh, unstable in terms of consistency, but yeah. break from my Angel, Witch Q, and Rock will definitely be something for China, even though GGBY found a miss pretty much at the same time as my Angel Witch Q, combo advantage is now in favor of China, and Dixon and Totori are pretty much fighting against Witch Q and Whoop Wolf Wolf. With 100% from Totori, they definitely have the boost they need, but overall accuracy is pretty much the same. Boom, Angel breaking again just before the, uh, before the pose. Yep, just before the break. Angel Witch Q found a miss in the very last note before it, and China is slowly getting closer to that lead. As Wolf Wolf, Wolf and Witch Q keeps the full combo up, but Spring Lake is actually recovering quite well, 96% of accuracy already, building a 500 combo difference, pretty much 400 combo difference in favor of China at this point. And it will be just a matter of time for them to recover the lead they lost at the very beginning. As Any you see, second note, you should see yep. Oh, the drop from Wilch Q. And Decent as well, oh. dropping the combo. That's a big one. They will almost got it. They almost got it, but they couldn't since the break of Decent. So once again, they have to back and play from behind once again. Poling is now edging it out. They were so close. Oh, Spring Lake with a huge drop over there. Completely miss aiming that stream, missing like 15 notes in a row, and now Totori dropping as well. This is a nightmare for China. They had it, they were so close to take it, and suddenly everything just collapsed. And Poland will take the point instead with amazing performances by Wolf 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 and Wilsq. 99.92 from Wolf. Really, really good accuracy. And so in the end, Poland gets it back. Nice break by Poland. As soon as China established themselves a lead, Poland negates it as soon as they possibly can. And they are still on the game. Only 1 100 from Woo Woo Wolf. Astonishing wow. performance by him. It's like he knows 1 100. Always 1 100. <laughs> Sadly for China, though, they were holding really strong. They were just about to take the lead against yeah. Poland. But in the moment they mostly needed this and keeping it up, he found a break. And despite his amazing accuracy, he couldn't get those amount of points they needed to keep the lead. And Totori, with one slider break and only three 100s as well, not being enough. Overall performances from these two teams are super, super good and actually really close to each other. It's just more a matter of who breaks and yeah. who doesn't because accuracy wise consistency wise these two teams are so equalized would you think tiebreaker match well, i would like to see it that's for sure <laughs> oh that that sounds that feels like one maybe we see something like uh i won't say scarlet rose for poland even though i think it's a good pick i think they will save it for later and it will be alone instead. So, once again, mostly an accuracy and consistency pick. And again, it can go anywhere. Yeah.
And there we go, we see some player swaps from China for this particular pick as we see Artsy joining back the room. Totori stays, but Springling is being replaced over here. Save from GGBY and Desan. You have Totoki and Totori, the Toto team. <laughs> I guess that's to, 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 you know, to mess with us someday. Uh, no, no, that's not to mess with us. It's to, 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 Waiting for one more player from China. I wonder who will that be? Matsumoto Rice will. Alright, and we should get this party started at Wupu 12 says it, with some alone. Yep, there we go. This might be the first story that Poland needs to bring it back. But they are alone by themselves now. Ooh, with a miss from Rock just then. It's an early miss, so that's not that bad. Especially in this map where I, I don't think I will see too many full combos, but... I would argue the opposite. I think we might see two or three full combos on this one. Yes, but that's not, you know, the whole team full combo. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I don't really expect a whole team full combo in any map since like quarterfinals so yeah yeah although china might prove us wrong quarter of song already in still no breaks although the distance between these two teams is actually quite low surprisingly well you know it, it was oh but rock did break again and again yeah, and again and again and again like the, the, the spoon murder <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> stop but as for no Mm, there is uh, a miss from Artixi, but my angel misses again. Oh, double drop from yep. Totoki as well. You, you have drops left and right, which makes the team, you know, not, not going far away from each other, but make, making it more and more difficult to Poland to, to actually, you know, get back in the lead. Definitely a really chaotic situation that we have over there with everyone dropping from each side. Totori and Matsumoto Rise are still fighting against Wilch Q and Wolf 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 once again being the two men on the team that keeps up the no mod scoring. Although breaks from my angel Wilch Q are not helping it out. As soon as Artix and Totoki recovers for a little bit, China will just be almost unreachable by Poland anymore. And since we have only one third of song remaining, it will be a matter of China breaking or not, because they are in a comfortable lead already. But the miss from Matsumoto right though, he Ooh. was a full combo, so it's a really big one. But Wilch Q as well from Poland now dropping the combos again. And that's not good for them. They still have the chance to recover here. But China gets back the combo advantage. They close the gap a little bit, only 100,000 points remaining. But the map is close to an end. It's just about the last section, the last jumps here. Well, there's still one eighth of the map playing. The the map remaining is not that hard, but they, they have to be consistent. Uh, Miss from played. Totoki, though. Ooh, it's not. Not sure if it will be not? enough. Oh, woof, 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 missing. No, no, no that's what, it. What the hell? Definitely, that's it. Definitely, that yep. section before the sliders is so frequent, so frequent to drop over there. 
Even though we doubt the miss, I don't know if Poland was able to pull that out. But anyways, oh. China breaks point once again. Oh gosh. It is, it is the match of the breaks. <laughs> yeah, today we had a lot of break points already. And in this particular scenario, Totori, once again, proving the word that he's such an amazing player. Full combo with five one hundreds. Wow. Yeah, that was a nice one. And now it's China selection once again. And this time Ooh. around, not sure what they will go for as they yeah. don't have much normal playfield to to work on, I believe. Because Chinese restaurant seems to be a risky for them. And Scarlet Rose also seems to be a map that they should probably avoid. And with Illumiscape banned, it's pretty much, yeah, double time. That's the Same. point they needed. As mentioned before, I was expecting them to take a little bit longer, but they don't really have too much picks to play with. And winning this one, the, their own double time pick, they might just have uh, the tiebreaker secured at least. Yeah. It might be the case and actually the the bands which he, which seem you know the nomad band which seems strange at the beginning it's starting to make sense and we see pg replacing here with q so <laughs> And he, at least, if he's clear in his, uh, in his aim in this tournament, he's going to one-miss this song. He's confident on his one-missing abilities. Yes. And Wubuf, uh kind of requesting that he misses the first note. <laughs> I mean, that would be the best case scenario, right? Like, if yes. you have the one-miss, the best thing you can do is just miss the first note. And whichever team is bumped into loser's bracket today, or for this match, these loser's brackets won't be fun for anyone joining them. I mean, wow, you have Germany, you have potential China, Poland. That's... That would be hard, really. That's pretty interesting that China has so many players that can't play this map, as you saw. They pretty much replaced someone almost before starting. <laughs> Just because they were like, okay, I want to play. <laughs> well, you know, it's nice to see a full team for once. There we go, it will be Sense, the double time selection by China, now trying to secure at least a tiebreaker on this one. I wonder if Poland actually has a wild card on their backs, because they might ban Connect, which is arguably, in my opinion, the easier map of the double time bracket, because they... Like, why would you vent that instead of this one being this one the harder? It might just be because Poland wanted China to pick this one. It's some sort oh. of a bait. And try to break the point as they might just do now. As you can see, the lead is pretty much meaningless right now. Yeah. As both teams are but pretty much at the wolf same thing. Just yeah. breaks. That break from the Wolf is definitely going to be... A big one for Poland, even more since he was holding 100%. And now only Totori will be the one holding the 100% for this match. See how long he can keep it. Drop from PG. That's the first miss. The 1x miss he mentioned it before is actually going to be real.
China is just going ham on this one. Four full combos. Wow. This might be the first time we actually see a full team full comboing a map on the quarterfinals. I mean, it's too early to call already because there's still half of the map remaining, but China's definitely pulling it out. Oh, Spring Lang would have dropped sadly for the Chinese team, though they won't hurt that match since Wilch Q and Rock are the only full combos for Poland. But, combo advantage is technically in Poland's hands at the moment. Oh, the drop from Wilch Q though! Yeah. Full combo being demolished by that break. Poland was close I mean, to get a chance, but they lost it. No, 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 no. Pretty much, I mean, you know, uh, China is three full combing it. Uh, I mean, what can do Poland at that point? Well, they kind of had the combo advantage before Wilch Q drops, but right now it just seems like an impossible thing. The map is pretty over already, and unless someone fails, which is, of course, not going Possible, to happen. But not unlikely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It will be, once again, point for China, securing at least the tiebreaker. So Poland will now have to play from behind, not only winning their own, but also the next pick from China. And the miss from GGBY actually just before the spinner, completely <laughs> negating the full combo by him. Well, you know, in a way, PJ did one miss. He did what he said. Unfortunately, yeah. but that, that was not the first note. Yeah, and that seems to be it for this double time. So right now, Poland will have to choose wisely as they have their last selection. They might just go for Scarlet Ross, honestly. <laughs> Thanks, K-Star. Says <laughs> Tokori. Totori. Maybe even All Deus right. Ex Machina, but not too sure. No. Chinese restaurant? Okay, I mean, that's that was my second option. <laughs> like, uh, those two normals are quite uh, challenging for China anyway, so maybe they just feel more comfortable with Chinese restaurant as Scarlet Rose is probably uh, a more dangerous pick to go for since the amount of sliders it has. Mm. So Chinese restaurant will be... But well, that, that will be the last Poland pick for this match, uh, regardless of what happens. That's true, this might be the last point of the match, since China is a match point. If they win just one more map, they will advance further into the winner's bracket, knocking Poland down into the loser's bracket. We shall see though, the situation is definitely getting spicy for Poland. Yep, and if, even if Poland wins that one, China will get the next one, and if Poland wins that one as well, we get the tiebreaker. So people, well, if you want to see one match going all the way to tiebreaker today, well, it might be that one. So cheers for Poland. Also, that's because the team I chose at the beginning of the match. <laughs> Seems that we might be one-on-one, -on -one, Slame. Yes, it might be. Well, as we are still waiting for the last few players to ready up, I believe... You guys can definitely show the support for the team you like here, because if you're supporting Poland, you definitely have to show that into the chat because Poland needs you and if not 
you definitely have to show the support for China as well, because if they win this one, they just advance further. So everyone in the chat, feel free to support your own team. Yep, go friends. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, go Argentina. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I like five hours early. Oops. <laughs> Yes, and I've been deprived of my right to commentate the French match. But because I, I, I was not enough, uh, you know, neutral about it. Bias. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, we start with the match with a pretty much standard start. No obvious break for now. A little bit of accuracy uh, advance for Poland, but nothing at break can change. Yes, we kind of see that Crystal is having a little bit of trouble on this map in particular. 94% of accuracy and a drop in the very first seconds. So, this is a lead for Poland. Quite a sexy one, despite the combo advantage, which is like meaningless. It's just due to accuracy, as you see, everyone is holding really close to 99%, although Totori is holding 100%, which is Scary about his own, but it's not going to be enough just by himself. Although China is slowly catching up, since Crystal is recovering his accuracy slowly. The streamy section might be the point that China needs in order to pull them for breaking, but it's not happening just yet. Last stream and no one gets it. And into the jump with the slider, still no drops. Everyone is recovering with Matsumoto, Rock, Whoa. and my Angel Witch Q. Each one dropping at the exact same moment, and China will take it back just because of that. And Totori is still 100%ing. What in the war is happening right there? Still managed to keep the accuracy into the doubles. The kick sliders are not a problem from him either, and seems like China will just win this one in a blink of an eye. As wow, Totori 100%ing the map, Rock and Matsumoto with another drop, not going to change a single thing. Yeah, the total could be a thing. He 100%ed wow. it! What the? He 100 percent the map of the quarterfinals, that, Satori. That map. One of the most wow. tricky, trickiest maps, the most gimmicky maps in the pool. He managed to full combo, not only with that, but also 100%. That's just amazing. 